Oh, big houndfish. Actually, over here on the Pacific coast, it's a needlefish. There's not houndfish in the Pacific. That was a big needlefish that just jumped. Surprised he didn't cut us off. He must have hit the line with the AFW hard wire on it. And uh, before that wire, we actually have a 60 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader, which is typically very necessary for the snapper and stuff. But they haven't minded much today. They've been hitting with the wire on and everything. That's a big needlefish. Wow. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this thing in here. Ah. That is a big needlefish. Wow, I'm being very careful because, as you guys can see, if those teeth get you, it's not going to feel good. Man, what a monster needlefish. World record's only 20 pounds, caught out of Cabo, Mexico. And uh, this one's probably about 15. It's a big old needlefish. That's full grown right there. About as big as you're going to see. Monster. There he goes. He took off. I thought I was going to have to shake him a little, but man, he played dead on me. As soon as he hit the water, he was gone. <laughs> that worked out good. Within a few minutes of putting a bait back out in the water, the rod in the rod holder got hit. Golly, it's running. Might be the rooster we were after. Let's see here, is that a rooster? It's a rooster. There's a rooster right there, guys. Oh, he jumped. Oh, he jumped right out of the water, guys. Wow. He might come up and do it again. Holy cow, the entire fish. Woo! That was a pretty good sized rooster we had hooked up. It was no baby. Okay, so we've got about everything today, guys. Multiple different types of snapper. Kuberas, barred snapper, mackerel. Look at this. And a rooster fish right here, peeling out line. I got the outrigger line in the tip of my rod. There it goes, just came out. Got a few obstacles here, but we're gonna land this fish. What a variety today at a Crocodile Bay Resort in Costa Rica. And there he is on the surface again. Rooster fish are also a really cool looking fish and my favorite exotic fish to catch because they have those really cool fins that pop up. They chase down poppers, the lead artificial, but most of the time you know they're gonna eat that live bait because they're also very smart fish. It's not easy to outsmart them. Look at that fish, look at this. Holy cow. All right, got him. Woo! He's going crazy. You wanna support that fish's body so he doesn't hurt himself. Wow, nice fish. They're neat looking, they're tough. Everything about a rooster fish is cool. They're really not any good to eat, but you know, that doesn't matter because they're so cool in so many other aspects. And there's our Costa Rican rooster fish we were after. Wow, like I said, what a variety this morning. We got some mackerel, we got the blue trevally. What a morning out here. Oh my gosh, woo. There's one last look at that rooster fish, guys. It's been an amazing day out here. We actually got rain coming. The clouds are coming in on us quick. So we're actually gonna call it a day and it's only about lunchtime. But what an awesome day out here. Big fish all day long. I mean, you just can't ask for a better day anywhere you go in the world. And here we go. He's ready to take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. There he goes. Perfect, perfect. 